neck pull. Neck pull is quite a difficult abdominal exercise, <laughs> to say the least, for a lot of people, especially if you're tight in the lower back, if you're inclined to be curved forward in the lower back and you have tightness there, it's going to be difficult just like the roll-ups and rolling like a ball. So it's the next step forward, but let's give it a go. So we're going to start with the legs straight, uh, sitting up, sorry. Yeah, the legs are straight and together, although um, you're going to see variations that the feet are flexed and variations that the feet are pointed. We're going to do feet pointed. And you're also going to see variations that the legs are about hip width apart and flexed. And then the teacher will guide you through how to do it in this variation. But let's do with the legs together and the feet pointed. We're going to put the hands behind the head. What Kathy just did is to find her sits bones. So you need to sit tall on your sits bones. And I want you to press the elbows behind you for a moment and then bring them right to the edge of your peripheral vision. So not too far forward. Feel the shoulder blades dropping on the back and feel the abdominals lifting you through the front. Now, I want you to then curl up and over yourself like there's a little ball of fire here and you're trying not to burn yourself as you go up and over. So your forehead, not your forehead, the crown of your head wants to touch your thighs, but there's a ball of fire here. So you have to be really careful and still you're trying to touch down. Don't let it tense in the shoulders. The shoulders stay down and the left is in the abdominals. From here, you're just gonna sit upright, stay upright, hinge backwards at the hip joints like this, and then look into your center and one vertebra at a time, roll down. See, beautiful. We're gonna lift the head, roll up with the same control, and roll over that little ball of fire here, up and over, the mat is moving with us. I hope it's not too bad, not too much noise. And then sit really tall, hinge back, look towards your center and one vertebra at a time. Make a little noise of breathing out. Breathe in to lift your head. Use your breath. Squeeze all the air out of your lungs. Come over that little ball of fire. Inhale to sit tall. The abdominals lift you, you hinge back, and you roll down with control. Now I'm going to join Kathy. Kathy, you can adjust the mat. And we're going to do a few more with a little bit more flow for you. And notice that we're going to do our best not to pull on the neck, not to bring the elbows forward, to keep the abdominal control, and to keep the same engagement through the legs that we have in the roll-ups and all these exercises that will prepare you for more advanced moves like the neck pull. Here we go. Kathy, we're ready. Take a deep breath in. The head comes up and we roll up and over. We sit tall, hinge back and roll down with control. One vertebra at a time. Head up. Up and over. That's okay. Kathy has done quite a few. I'm a little bit more fresh at the moment. Kathy, why don't you modify on the way up? Do it with straight arms so people can see how you can modify it. So here you can stretch the arms and roll up like a normal roll up. Come over the legs, sit tall, and use the weight of the arms in this position just for the phase of rolling down. And that's probably enough. That's the neck pull. 